Welcome to a very special tea special. This product is from the T2 shop. I discovered this recently while wandering around the Westfield. They have apparently a few branches all around uh, London and the UK. I was completely blown away by the amount of tea variety, tea accessories and just teapots in general from the different ranges. While I was there, I got myself the matcha tea kit. The T2 matcha kit is called the Ultimate Matcha Collection. It comes inside of this stylish black box with a little slip. Embossed on the side of the box is a T2 trademark. Simply open the box and inside you'll see the full kit. Inside of the box you have an instructions, a bamboo handmade whisk, a bamboo scoop, one handmade bowl and also one ounce of grounded green tea. As you can see, we got the green tea kit instructions on how to do the process. We then also have one tin with the powder inside. We also have the bamboo whisk ins inside. We also have one bamboo scoop for taking just a little bit into the bowl. And also you have the handmade bowl as so. Traditionally, this is used for the whole family to share from. This is what comes inside the ultimate matcha kit. There are many different varieties in store. This one is particularly nice because it does not have a very symmetrical design, but it's still hand dipped into paint and crafted by hand and has a little funnel at the bottom, which any powder's excess will just fall to the bottom and be swelled back in. Here we have the bamboo whisk. You can buy these in store, but they have a lower quality one as opposed to one that comes in this kit in particular. Here is the bamboo whisk. Handcrafted for beautiful symmetrical design. You can buy these in store, but not to this level of craftsmanship. The bamboo scoop is fairly simple in design and very elegant. The tin comes in this lovely tin box where it's vacuum packed. It is vacuum packed inside of the tin box. Be careful opening the package. The first step to making a tea is to add some hot water to the bowl. Swirl it around so you can heat up the bowl. Then discard of the water that was left inside and the bowl should be slightly heated. Then using your bamboo scoop, take one scoop of powder and add it to your bowl. Add more than one scoop for a stronger brew. Never should one add boiling water. The ideal temperature is 80 degrees. If you have any boiling water, just add some cold water first or let your boiling water settle so it's a cooler temperature. This way you won't burn your tea. Then take your whisk and whisk it in a W motion. Whisk until there is a fine froth. All there's to do is enjoy. Mm. Sayonara. <laughs>